Living Grand on Grand Lake is made possible in part by the Grand Lake Association is in its 60th year promoting the Grand Lake region in partnership with the Oklahoma Department of Tourism. Located in Grove, the Grand Lake Visitor Center welcomes people from around the country and provides information on where to stay, shop, eat, area services, and activities around Grand Lake. The GLA also sponsors the Pelican Festival in September with crafts, a parade, and a carnival. The Grand Lake Boat and Sports Show in March and the Grand Lake Extravaganza, the world's largest bass tagged event. More information is available at GrandLakeFun.com. And by the Grand River Dam Authority is Oklahoma's state-owned electric utility, fully funded by revenues from electric and water sales instead of taxes. GRDA's low-cost, reliable power touches 75 of 77 counties in Oklahoma. At no cost to taxpayers, GRDA also manages 70,000 surface acres of lakes in the state, including Grand Lake, Lake Hudson, and W.R. Hallway Reservoir. Today, GRDA's 500-member workforce continues to produce the same power for progress that has benefited the state for over 75 years. And by... You can experience the excitement. You can experience the fun. You can experience the freedom. Your adventure awaits. And by... There's no need to travel for quality health care. Integris Grove Hospital provides exceptional care close to home. From primary care to specialists like OBGYN, cardiology, orthopedics, urology, ophthalmology, and more. Integris Grove Hospital. Quality care close to home. And by viewers and members like you. I'm Tad Jones, and we're here at the beautiful Arrowhead Yacht Club in Duck Creek. And I'm Christy Wallace, and here's what's coming up on today's episode. On today's episode, we're going to check out the golf around Grand Lake as we visit Patricia Island and the newly renovated Shangri-La. And then it's off to our beautiful Grand Lake Area State Park. All that and more on Living Grand on Grand Lake. If there is one thing I love, it is golf. Teeing up on the tee box, hitting your shot down the fairway, hitting your iron shots into the green. And for me, I have a great short game. I love being in the sand traps. Grand Lake has got some wonderful golf courses. We're gonna take just a minute to look at a few golf courses here around Grand Lake. Shangri-La, of course, uh, as a major destination resort, uh, historically was a, a prime destination in this part of the United States. Since Eddie Gibbs purchased the property in 2010, we've done a complete renovation and rebuilding of Shangri-La. Patricia Island Estates and Golf Club started as a 323 acre Hereford Ranch. They were just running cattle on this property. And we brought Trip Davis in to design the golf course and he did a great job of making it easy and fun so any golfer of any level can enjoy the club. Shangri-La's golf course is designed a little bit different than most golf courses. We try to offer the ultimate play uh, no matter what your game is. It's not an easy course, it's a challenging course, but it's not an impossible course. We designed it with the hope that people would come out here and have the best round of golf they've ever had in their life. We've got L93 bent grass greens that are absolutely perfect. We've got five sets of tee boxes, and it's just a fun golf course to play. But we uh, now have uh, 27 all new championship holes of golf, just celebrated our first birthday with the completion of the course this year. Uh, I'd 
new clubhouse, 13,000 square foot clubhouse, and of course uh, we've continued expansion uh, at the marina as well and the addition of uh, two new boat lines. We host a few of the biggest scrambles in the four states. Uh, some of the folks might have heard of the Blackjack Charity event, and then the Eastern Shawnee also hosts a huge event the week of their, of their tribal activities. They're probably the, the two best scrambles, arguably, in the, in the four states, and there's a ton of money pumped into those events. So we have a lot of uh, event tournaments like that. We've, uh, we've had several uh, uh, PGA events for the South Central section. also have overnight packages with Indigo Sky Casino that include gaming credits, they include your lodging, they include golf, and they include shuttle service to and from the casino. So it's kind of an all-encompassing resort with uh, golf, and stay and play packages, and parasailing, and yacht charters, and and we're, we're trying once again to make sure that Shangri-La returns as the ultimate premier destination in this part of the country. Uh, we have a lot of stay and play guests, uh, so we're proud to be attracting people to Grand Lake. That's the point. I hope you want to get your clubs and come golf around Grand Lake. We'll be back in just a minute. I'm Jennifer Sterling, Program Manager for RSU Public TV. One of the things I love about being part of RSU TV is that it's much more than just a television station, really more like a family. Our viewers are committed to helping us bring the best possible programming to Northeastern Oklahoma. We've introduced a new way to become part of the RSU TV family, the Signal Society. It works like this. Pledge a recurring monthly gift of $10 a month or more right now, and you'll become a member. It's automatically deducted from your credit or debit card or bank account until you cancel. It's easy on the budget for people who want to help, and we'll be able to spend less time and money fundraising. As our special thanks to you when you join the Signal Society, you'll receive a beautiful RSU TV stadium blanket and etched coffee mug. It's so easy to join and help us keep all those great programs on the air. Just call 1-800-823-7210 or go online to rsu.tv. We appreciate your support. If you've been a member for a while, thank you so much. And if you're new, welcome to the family. Welcome back. Here's what's happening on and around Grand Lake this week. We are here today on the deck once again at Arrowhead Yacht Club here in Duck Creek. What a fantastic oh, afternoon. Absolutely. One of my favorite places to be. Mm, I love yes. this deck. I've had a lot of fun times on this deck, Brian. Me Great too. Food, dancing. You gotta love Arrowhead. This Speaking show. Speaking of dancing. Dancing. Speaking of dancing, we have some dancing coming up. We do. Ottawa Tribal Pow Wow coming up. Up in Miami. Yes. Another party in Miami. Yes. We're excited to have Michael Warner with us today as our guest. I know you've helped with the uh, powwows for several years, and your daughter will be dancing this yes. year. But Okay, so our viewers that have never been to a powwow, tell us what to expect. What is a powwow? What um, happens? A powwow, um, translation for powwow is celebration or picnic, actually. And um, we've it's annual. It's our 51st annual. Um, I'm not going to reveal my age, but um, <laughs> let's just I know say you I, I, haven't, remember. I haven't missed one in 39 years, so um, it's just something that I was raised with and do. Um, but traditionally, we camp. Um, they have a spot in Ottawa Park, and uh, we camp and dance and sing and do our thing that we've done for hundreds of years. And it's just a gathering, and it's um, August 29th through 31st. Uh, we do a variety of dancing. We have uh, 
usually we start out the dances with gore dancing. That's traditionally done by the veterans. Uh, then we go to war dancing, uh, intertribal dancing, which um, consists of, you know, various tribes and... Um, and non-tribal people can... can oh, yeah, certainly, yes. so, certainly. So Brian and I... We I can. have. You can. You have. I, have. I haven't. It's my. Maybe you take me. We'll no. go do a little yes. tribal dancing yes, together. Very I can fun. learn. Yes, very fun. you could. And, um, and one of the only things for, uh, you know, they will have a blanket dance, um, and they'll invite. You know, all public is always welcome to come and and share in our celebration. That's great. And Not there's sure. free, no charge. No right? charge, never. Um, and we traditionally, it's a no contest powwow for, you know, all of the. The dancers out there. Um, we have a motto. It's where the champions come to play and rest. And so, so you can still dance, but you don't have that pressure of thinking this is a competition. Exactly. I have exactly. to. You can just actually relax and have a great time. Yes. Lots yeah. of fun. I have always found it to be a very spiritual experience. Actually. Yes. It is. A, it's kind of a, a cool event, and uh, it's running for three days. Yes. August 29th through the 31st at the Ottawa. Um, Indian Park in yes. Miami, which is actually, we were discussing this before the show, spelled a little differently. Mm -hmm. The name of the park is A-D-A-W-E. Yes, Ottawa that's, that's um, Ottawa um, is how, you know, we say it in mm -hmm. English, and Adalwe is how we pronounce it in Indian, so. Adalwe, Very so cool. at the Adalwe yes. Indian Park. Yes. Learned a little something today, Brian. I, uh, I have been to a, a number of powwows, and I have not, uh, I have not been to this one, and I'm uh, I'm guessing you're going to have some some food there too. Oh yes, a certainly. A little bit of food, maybe some corn on a stick. Uh, I don't know <laughs> if you'll have corn on a stick, but we definitely I'm going to be cooking corn soup on Saturday. Ooh, okay. yum! Okay, so I'll, that's I'll have Michael's corn soup. One tradition that um, I've carried on that was my great grandma Dawes. She um, always cooked, usually the Saturday of the powwow and. And I even used the cookware that she used. Wow. And it's all uh, over in I open love fire. That it's, oh, it's it's awesome. That so. is really neat. And I would encourage our viewers to uh, to attend if uh, if you've never been if you've never been involved in a uh, in a dance. Yes. I mean, I, I felt it. I felt very welcomed, and uh, and it was just a really cool experience. And oh, for wonderful. for a group that's been doing it for uh, a couple of years now, this would be a good one to uh, <laughs> yes. to uh, get involved in. Great yes. Well, Michael, right. thank you so much for thank joining you. us today. And we just encourage our viewers to attend the Ottawa Tribal Power August 29th through the 31st in Miami. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Well, nothing says Grand Lake like a good old fashioned raft out. Or Brian, what about a redneck raft out? I think it is fitting that we end the season here at Grand Lake, big holiday on Labor Day and uh, a local band. A local idea and uh, second annual Redneck Yacht Club Raft, Raft Out. That is correct, guys. That is correct. Well, we have with us today Jason and Megan Faulkner, father and daughter yes, team. That is correct. And uh, of course, you have formed the band Lickety Split. You've been playing around the lake for years. Everybody loves you guys. Ten and years. Ten years. Ten years. We've done about 400 shows, and 90% of them's probably been on Grand Lake. Yeah. We sure have. Megan Faulkner is actually going to be our special guest this year. She was there with us last year. She's there with us a lot on a lot of occasions. But this is going to be a big one just for the simple fact. It's always the end of a blowout of the summer. We have a huge PA we bring in our Lickety Split Band. We do a big, big difference in music. We do a lot of country, a lot of red dirt, uh, blues, classic rock. We just mix it up. And, you know, last year we had a real success, so we decided we was going to do it again. And this year I think we're going to double it. So. We want to tell people to come by grand, come by water, and uh, basically we're going to rock out. Uh, a lot of times how we, how we fund this, we have a lot of sponsorships, little local businesses around the lake, they chip in, and then in turn we, we throw out, we have a three-man slingshot, we like to throw out merchandise for them. Awesome. So it's awesome. A, it's a pretty different deal. Well, I think. I've seen the boats, they come in all decorated up with their yes. best, bringing their best redneck to the Redneck Yacht Club event. That is what's so cool about it. That's kind of what makes us different, I believe, is we do have a best redneck yacht contest. And I mean, we have big carvers, fancy coal bolts, and then we have fishing rigs that come in, pontoons. houseboats, pontoons, and a lot of them deck out. And there's no entry fee to get into the contest. And we do a crowd participation as far as a uh, judging goes, just who yells, who honks, whoever's loudest wins. And we also get sponsors for the prizes as well. 
So it's, it's a good event. It's a, it's a family event. You bring the kids out, and uh, we're just going to have a good time. I want everybody to come out, and we're going to try to double it every year. Hopefully, maybe one day we'll be the biggest event on Grand. Well, what time uh, during the event does your special guest come on? She comes in and out. Megan, I would say, sings three or four songs a set with us. We usually play 45, break 15, and it's going to be one to five. Megan, you want to say anything, honey? Megan, what's your favorite song to sing? Oh, gosh, I like anything. I like singing Delta Dawn. That's probably my favorite. Oh, that's fucking crazy. We heard you sing that at a, uh, a hook and cook-off. Yep. I think that was your very first oh, yeah. event over here. You were eight years old playing on the back of a flatbed yep. truck. And uh, just it's awesome to yeah. see a, a dad-daughter uh, team up there entertaining. But this is a, this is a special event. And, uh, you know, last year we had great weather. We had everybody showing up with their dressed up uh their dressed up raft and uh tons of stuff given away and that is, and that is one of the cool things about this event is the it local does. businesses that all chip in uh -huh. to make it happen I, I love it it's like nobody's doing this to make money we're no. just doing it to have a great yeah, time right. and bring people together and listen to some great music win some prizes correct the bigger it gets the the longer probably maybe we'll get another band in it next year just trying to grow it, and the more sponsors we get, we'll just put it back into the event itself. They so. might pull us up on the mics, Brian, a little yeah, Christine we love, Brian duet. We might noodle up there. No, yeah, we might yeah. on the noodle, little noodle swimming. A lot swimming. of noodles. Noodle yeah. up to the we mic, yeah. We, have a, we pull a permit from GRDA, you know, that way it can be policed, and we keep it safe and make sure no speeders are coming through our event, and uh, they do a good job with us. So it's just a good, safe family event with a lot of kinds of music uh, from Lickety Split this year with special guest, my daughter, Megan Faulkner. And I can't wait to hear Megan sing Delta and Dawn. I would make her sing yeah, it right she, now, but you know. She's not telling you what all she can sing. Oh, she, okay. she can do all kinds of variety. I and bet. she plays guitar as well. And, uh, okay, so tell us the date again. August 30th. August 30th. Saturday. Saturday in the time. 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Perfect. Well, and I'm going to be there, Brian. How about you? Absolutely. Okay. Wrapped it up early. Thanks yeah. for joining us today. We yeah. appreciate it. Thank we look forward. We hope our viewers will join Thank us for you. the Redneck Yacht Club Raft Out. I'll be there. All right, me too. The Labor Day end of summer bash at the Bernice Nature Center will take place August 30th through September 1st and will feature guided hikes, activities, and adventures all weekend long. Activities will begin at 10 a.m., 1 p.m., and 3 p.m. each day. The Nature Center houses a beehive, taxidermied animals, a thousand gallon aquarium, snake and lizard habitats, and a one mile paved walking trail. For more information, call 918-257-8330. That's what's happening around Grand Lake this week. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. The show will continue, but first, here's some fun in the sun. I'm RSU TV's General Manager, Royal Ailes. Now everyone complains that there's nothing to watch any longer on television, but I say there is. RSU TV brings you a unique look at our world every day from great chefs taking you on a tour of the world with their fantastic food. How to turn your home into your favorite restaurant. To old time praise songs with classic gospel hosted by Bill Gaither. <laughs> RSU TV is delivering the best in programming on television, and you can be a part of this. Become a member of RSU TV Signal Society. Your reoccurring gift of $10 a month will help RSU TV continue to bring great programs into your home. 
All you have to do is call 1-800-823-7210 or go online to rsu.tv and click the donate button. And when you do, we'll ask you for your credit card or check card number and every month $10 will be automatically deducted from your account. This is the most important thing we can do to assure that there is a tomorrow for RSU TV. And when you become a Signal Society member, we'll give you this beautiful fleece blanket and this wonderful coffee mug, both with our logo on the side. As General Manager of RSU TV, I want to thank you for your continued support of this station, the programming we offer, and the changes we're making as we become engaged in our communities. Grand Lake is well known. We have a plethora of state parks in the area. And whether you prefer a state park located right on the shores of Grand Lake, maybe on the river, or maybe off the beaten path, we have something for everyone. Today's episode, you'll see what I'm talking about as we tour some of the beautiful state parks in the area. We have 14 state parks on Grand Lake and they are the public's gateway to Grand Lake. took over Cub Master this year <clears throat> and my scouts wanted to camp a little bit more. So Grand Lake State Park's Bernice area has 33 RV sites and unlimited primitive tent camping sites. We have two playground groups, three bathhouses, we have a half a mile paved trail and nature center. I am bringing my scouts out to get a feel what nature has to offer them. We have programs throughout the year. Um, one of our continual programs that we have on a constant basis is every Saturday at one o'clock we have Wild Eats, which is also known as our animal feeding time where we feed everything in the nature center um, from the snakes, the frogs, the turtles, the fish, the turkey, the peacock. And we try to give the children um, a little bit of an idea of how each animal actually does what it does when it eats. So we tell them how the largemouth bass eats and we tell them how a constrictor eats compared to a frog eating snake like our hawk nose. Our state park is very popular for our families um, because this is a very shallow shoreline so you can actually take your small children into the water and swim Grand Lake without having to worry about them taking two or three steps away from an adult and falling in over their head because the water actually dropped deeper. So this park is really used by those families with small children so that way they can enjoy and kind of relax a little bit more and not have to worry about their kids. Plus with the Nature Center, our walking trail, and the two play groups within this group, it's very popular for that. I just had one of my older Boy Scouts uh, start a fire with flint and lint from his pocket. My job is to, is to give them the experience they can have. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tour of our local state parks. We have more for you coming up next. Hello, our safety tip for today is boating at night. 
Boating at night brings us many challenges that we don't face during the daytime. The number one thing that I want to talk about is being visible. We have a red and green light on the front of the boat and we have a white light on the rear of the boat. The red and green lights on the front of our boat allows other boaters to see which direction we're going and know how to navigate when they see us at night. The white light in the back, obviously they can see us if they're coming from the rear of the boat, but it also, if we have just a white light on the back of the boat, means that that boat is anchored and that's a different aspect of how we need to face that situation. Another thing to remember is we have to keep those lights running. Keep spare bulbs in the boat, keep, keep things to keep those going like tools or, or spare bulbs. Nighttime navigation is, is a learning process and we need to educate ourselves. One way we can do that is GRDA offers boating ed classes. They're required for the kids, but it's a great idea for the adults to come and get involved in that and learn things that we might have overlooked. That's our safety tip for today. Thank you for joining us on Living Grand on Grand Lake. We had a great show today. We did. Wonderful things to do, and I'm just thinking about going golfing right after this. Stay focused, Tad. Stay focused. It's hard to. <laughs> it is. We'll see you next time on Living Grand on Grand Lake. Living Grand on Grand Lake is made possible in part by the Grand Lake Association is in its 60th year promoting the Grand Lake region in partnership with the Oklahoma Department of Tourism. Located in Grove, the Grand Lake Visitor Center welcomes people from around the country and provides information on where to stay, shop, eat, area services, and activities around Grand Lake. The GLA also sponsors the Pelican Festival in September with crafts, a parade, and a carnival the Grand Lake Boat and Sports Show in March, and the Grand Lake Extravaganza, the world's largest bass tagged event. More information is available at GrandLakeFun.com. And by... The Grand River Dam Authority is Oklahoma's state-owned electric utility, fully funded by revenues from electric and water sales instead of taxes. GRDA's low-cost, reliable power touches 75 of 77 counties in Oklahoma. At no cost to taxpayers, GRDA also manages 70,000 surface acres of lakes in the state including Grand Lake, Lake Hudson, and the W.R. Hallway Reservoir. Today, GRDA's 500-member workforce continues to produce the same power for progress that has benefited the state for over 75 years. And by... You can experience the excitement. You can experience the fun. You can experience the freedom. Your adventure awaits. And by... There's no need to travel for quality health care. Integris Grove Hospital provides exceptional care close to home. From primary care to specialists like OBGYN, cardiology, orthopedics, urology, ophthalmology, and more. Integris Grove Hospital. Quality care close to home. And by viewers and members like you.